What's up guys? What's going on? Welcome to your fourth express video. Uh, to today I'm going to kind of show you guys more about how to organize your code, okay? So we're going to take a very, very, very simple look of how to organize your code and stuff like that. Now, when we look at this, remember, we've been talking all about routing, like routing express. What we talk about so far is we said you could do app.get or app.post. Or if you want to, you could do app.get, you know, or router.get or router.post. We talk about when you're doing an app, a full stack application, what your faces and different other things. But let me show you something that sounds really, really, really interesting. Remember, routing, it's all about to do routing express. We use app.get or app.post or router.get or router.post, right? I'm going to go ahead and delete all of this. All right. I'm going to go ahead and delete all of this and even this. Check this out, right? I deleted all of this and even this, right? And I'm gonna stop the server and then refresh it again. I mean, we start it again. When I refresh the page, AKA, that means we, sh we don't have any route, like our application should not be working, correct? Well, let's refresh the page and see what happened. And boom, it still worked, right? Well, the question is, okay, Sterling, what is happening? I'm not sure what you're talking about. Like, I have no clue what is going on. Like, there is no route. How come this is working? Is that magic? Actually, no. And let's actually hard refresh things out. We're going to hard refresh this, empty the cache out, empty the cache. And we're also going to delete our local storage data. Session storage deleted, clear. We're going to delete local storage, clear. We're going to delete the cookies, clear. We're technically deleting everything just to kind of see if it is something with the browser, right? Well, we refresh it, nothing happened. I mean, still the same thing. It works. Like, why is it working? Well, I'm going to close this tab and go back again. And boom, it still worked. Now, let me explain this so quick for you. Now, remember, whenever we're coding, it's all about like organizing your code, right? It's all about organizing your code. But what they, what's doing the magic for you over here that allows you to still have a route and send the index HTML is because you're using a special method from Express called Express.static. And remember, what this is going to do is this is going to send the entire folder and for some reason the index happened to be inside that folder because you name it index.html then it will take that index and serve it by default on 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 the router on the on on, on the route that on the on the main route for example if we had something like add that get by default, it will send this for you as 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 the home page. So this is something to really keep in mind. This is how you send static code, but we don't want that. How we usually have stuff, remember, it's all about organization, right? Well, how we usually have those HTML is we first create a folder called views. This is how we usually have them. And inside of you, this is where you put all your HTML. Boom, you put in here. And then check this out. If I deleted all these rod again, actually, I'm going to go ahead and delete them again and see if this magic still happened. Delete them, refresh, and now I go in here. And now we got an error, cannot get. So this is something to really keep in mind. This is really interesting. Uh, but the bottom line is all your HTMLs need to go inside a folder called views views That's how we name it. That means the front end. some people call it Client that's how they do their front end work, but I usually love this love to call these views So we're gonna call these views all your HTML here and the other thing that we need it's our route like we don't want to mix things up like we mix in this 
we're mixing configuration, we're mixing the if we're mixing the starting server and everything. We want to keep things very separate and really clean. So how I do with my route is technically put everything, everything inside a folder called route. Remember, it's all about organizations, like how you organize in your folder and how you keep in track of things. I usually call this one routing js and then I take all my router take all my router all my router aka I'll be starting from this and then I'll be taking this with the comment all the router and I'll be taking this and this the router just the router nothing else and then boom I'm gonna put them here but before I put them here remember we are using the express router so first thing first we need to import express and second we need to bring the express water which is we are going to call this one water express dot water and third because we are putting everything into one files which we later going to use them in another files then we need to export everything inside these files now with the react router the cool thing about react router you don't need to export everything you just export the router module that exports and then you have something everything will work for and we put all our router here and that's it now this is anybody that comes to our application or anybody that would like to contribute will know all the route is inside a folder called route and all our HTML is inside a folder called view now let's kind of go back the goal is to bring that route every router that we have defined and aka it becomes available outside by doing module export the goal is to bring this inside the server so to do this first of all I'm gonna delete this I might bring some confusion also going to delete this at that use might bring some confusion first thing first I'm gonna define a variable called router I'm gonna define something called router and I'm gonna bring this files to do this I'm gonna use require and then it's in the root path it's a folder called route so I'm gonna go route and within that route we got a file called routing so I'm gonna go slash routing and that's how you import everything that's inside the router or all the routes what really allows you to do this is this and then uh, once you import it now we're going to use it at that use just like we use it before and we do router and let's see if this worked actually let's see if it works now it might not work because the reason being is because the main route path is different because we're looking for an HTML file inside a static a st uh, inside a folder called public which is now inside the route so let's go ahead and see this refresh you see path is not defined first of all path is not defined we need this we're going to bring it path require that's the built-in module to so gonna help you make things compatible on Windows or Mac on the relative path to your computer. So this is being used in here, that's what we forgot. Now let's see, it won't work because this path is not accurate. We move things now to the, to the Vue.js. You see, no such file, blah, blah, blah. So what we really need to do is, we are inside the routing, which is here. Like we are inside this folder, we are inside these files. We need to go one folder up, which is from here, we go up, we go to the, the YouTube folder, like we will go here, like we will go here in this route. Once we are in this route, go inside the view. Now we go inside the view, and inside of view, we're going to get the index HTML. And let's see if this works. Refresh, oops, refresh. And boom it works so the bottom line guys is when you move in things 
be aware of the path. The path going to change whenever you move things. And the reason you are moving things around, like putting things, organizing things, is to keep your code very, very clean and really, really organized. Like, look at these files now, right? Very, very, very short. Everybody can read this coming to your application. 